Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time zone, what time of day that you're watching this short how-to video. I want to show you uh, very briefly how to create some paints, very much like watercolor paints, but they're not. Uh, paints for a traveling art kit that I want to show you how you could put together for yourself based on uh, the art kit that I carry. What I want to show you today is how to make some paints that act very much like watercolors, but it's actually ink and water mixed together and placed in these special kind of brushes um, called Aquaflow brushes. You can find these brushes at Amazon.com. You can find them at Hobby Lobby. You can find them in any art or craft store. The ink that I'll be using is called Dynaflow. And Dynaflow, I, I bought what they call their Exciter Pack, nine different colors from Amazon.com. Very inexpensively, I want to say it was maybe $12, $13 for the whole pack. And believe me, a little, little bit of this goes a very long way. So don't be put off by the small size of these little bottles that you see here. All right, the first thing you want to do is grab your Aquaflow brush. You're going to need a big bowl here of um, filtered water. And I just included a, um, oh, this is a brush stand that I think I got from Jerry's Artorama that's just full of pencils and brushes and things. You'll see the reason why you may want something like this here in just a second. Um, so gather your, your Dynaflow inks, get your um, Aquaflow <laughs> brushes, and we'll get started. First, you'll want to unscrew the cap. There's three parts to these Aquaflow brushes. There is the part that contains uh, the water, the paint, the ink, whatever you're going to put in it. In our case, we're going to put our filtered water and our Dynaflow ink in it. The second part is the brush. These things are so cool. And then the lid, which you never want to lose, obviously. Um, Take your reservoir here and just dip it in water. <laughs> I recommend warm water, but whatever. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I've filled it about three quarters of the way full of just plain filtered water. Now I'm going to take the turquoise blue from my Dynaflow, and here's where this little stand comes in handy. In fact, I'll move the water out of the way and I'll put this stand into the uh, the camera shot. Move maybe some of these pins and pencils out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I take that reservoir and just set it up right there. That way I don't have to try to hold it. Sometimes these can be uh, a little persnickety, getting the lids off. The lids can be tight, especially if there's any dried ink there. Um, so what I like to do is go ahead and fill all the reservoirs that uh, however whatever colors that you want to take with you in your traveling art bag um, you really only need three colors to be honest to create just about any color you would want to create but if you're anything like me I like all the colors of the rainbow and everything in between so uh, however many uh, Dynaflow inks I have is about the amount of brushes I like to have in my bag. So again, you have to give these reservoirs a little squeeze. I filled that one up a little too much. So I'm going to pour it out. That may be a little off camera, but again, I filled it up about three quarters of the way with filtered water. And uh, I'll set that here. And... I'll do that one more time. I don't want to bore you with the easy parts here. But give it a little squeeze. Fill it up about three quarters of the way with your filtered water. All right. Um, I'm going to take this turquoise color and 
just like I told you. I'll be doggone if that's not hard to get off there. And the ratio that you're going for here is about three quarters water to one quarter um, Dynaflo ink. Three parts water, one part, one part Dynaflo ink. I'm just going to eyeball this. I hope you can see that. I'm going to turn that upside down and just squeeze. Just squeeze and kind of fill it up the rest of the way. You can't see it on the camera, but there is a fill line on these Aquaflow brushes. So I'm just filling it with ink up to the fill line. And believe it or not, that has hardly used any of the ink from this bottle at all. So these little boogers go a long way. So um, I don't think you'll be unhappy for uh, the product that you get for the price that you pay. I'm going to use the violet now and pour that into this second reservoir that's that's got three parts water and I'm adding the one part Dynaflow ink. Alright and Go ahead and do the green, shaking it up just a little bit. I love this color. Chartreuse, it's called. So pretty. And I'll just fill up this last one here. I won't make this go on forever so that you can see the result here shortly. And I also want to show you what my traveling art bag looks like just so if you don't have one the goal here is to inspire you that it it's so easy it's so inexpensive and so worth it just to have a small bag that you throw in your bigger bag you throw in your car or in our case you we we throw in the truck when my preacher and I uh, we go to the mountains regularly we live within gosh, half an hour, 45 minutes of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. We try to go once a week. Sunday for us is not a day of rest, so we try to make Mondays our fun days, but we're not, we're not too good at that. Uh, but we do make it there at least once a month, and I always, always, always throw my little art bag in the truck. I throw in my camera bag, and we, you guys, we have a blast. He'll jump out of the truck when he sees some beautiful vista to shoot it every which way, take a hundred shots to get one good one. Um, and if I feel like it, I sit in the truck and I paint the same scene. And I don't sweat it. I don't try for perfection. It's just for me, for my eyes only. Um, just a beautiful thing. So you have your reservoirs here that are filled with your Dynaflow ink. You're just going to take the brush cap, pop it on there, screw it on really well. Just saying. Um, but in all the time that I've carried these in an art bag, I have yet to have one spill on me. So there's your chartreuse. So fun. Pop the lid on it. And we'll do the same thing with our purple. This one already has the lid on it. I'm just going to screw that on there. And you just kind of move it around a little bit. It distributes the ink and the water beautifully and the blue. I already have over here off to the side an orange and a yellow. Alright, move this out of the way. The thing I want to show you next, uh, I'm not going to paint a masterpiece. <laughs> In fact, I'm not going to paint anything at all. I'm just going to throw a few of these colors onto a page for you so you can see how they act. They have a, a really pretty transparency like watercolors and obviously because it's ink mixed with water they kind of act like watercolors. But the cool thing about this Dynaflow ink paint pen thing we've created here is that once this Dynaflow paint dries 
it's not going to move around on you. When you add other paints, whether it be acrylics or even more watercolor, it's going to stay put. And I love that about that. I um, am I may be a little bit like you. I know I'm like a lot of people in that I find watercolors just a little bit challenging for that very reason that um, even when they're dry, they're not dry in the sense that if you introduce another wet medium to that page, that watercolor paint is going to react with it. Well, that's not the case with these. It's one reason why I love them. They kind of act like acrylics, but they're not. Kind of like watercolors, but they're not. I already have the um, orange and the yellow on the page here for you to see. And this is just an old, um, it's literally from uh, the 60s, 1967, 68, an old ledger that I picked up for a few dollars. What I like to do is put just one thin coat of gesso on the pages. Can you see that? And uh, I usually help it out drying with this little heat gun here. And uh, when it's dry, it can take all kinds of use and abuse. So here's that cover page. It's already got some of the yellow, some of the orange. And I'll just show you what this looks like. Let's see if I can move us in just a little closer. All right. So here's some green. And again, I'm not going to try to make anything. I'm just going to throw it on there so you can see what it acts like. All right, I'm going to give it a little squeeze, and there it comes. I'm just going to spread that green around and see how it is not changing the color of the yellow beneath it. Let's pull some down into the orange, and you'll see what I mean. All right, it's just still a pretty green. And if you make any puddles that you're not fond of, you always just, whoops, come in with your trusty paper towel and just dab some of that up. All right, do you want to see the purple? Would you like to see what the purple looks like? Let's throw some purple on this page. Giving it a little squeeze. You'll see the paint as you squeeze kind of come down into the bear. Whoop, we got purple. I'm going to leave that. I love how that looks. In fact, I want to dry that into submission. So pardon me. Really like how that looks. I don't want that to go away at all. You might have heard Bob Ross say, there is no such thing as mistakes. There's only happy accidents. I'm a big believer. All right. Getting a lot of purple. Be careful when you squeeze. Each pen is, each um, Aquaflow brush might be slightly, slightly different. Um, they're not expensive brushes. I'm not saying they're cheap by any means, but they're not expensive at all. So each one's going to act just a little differently. So there's your purple. And so you can see those colors are just so vivid, so pretty. Um, I think the only color that we don't have on this page is blue. So I'll just add some blue. Oh, make sure. Make sure that the second part, the, your brush is well screwed into that reservoir or you're going to have an unhappy accident, especially if you're in your husband's truck. So well screwed on there. Giving it, again, just that little squeeze. Here it comes. And let's put some blue on the page. Again, three parts water, one part Dynaflow ink acts 
it, it kind of has the transparency of a watercolor without the difficulty that, in my opinion, comes with... Now, if you're an accomplished watercolorist, teach me. Um, but for those of us who aren't, this is such a fun alternative and so, so portable. That's the thing. Love the portability of this. It plays really well with gesso. If you can carry just a little, let me see if I can find mine. Don't look. Um, teeny little container, something like this. You can get these at the art supply stores. I love to, there's still a little bit in there. I love to pack it full of gesso and put the lid on. Um, these Dynaflow inks set up just like this, just like I've showed you play so well with the gesso. Tons of fun. They also play really well if you get a black. Um, I'm trying to see if I have one over here. They're probably actually all in my art bag. Um, but uh, an ink pen, a black ink pen that is um, waterproof. Waterproof ink pen. Ha! Ah, got it out. Um, you'll want to make sure that your Dynaflow ink in the water doesn't react with your ink pen in a way that you don't want to see. So, all right, I'll stop this video here and come back and show you what my art bag exactly, what it looks like, and uh, I hope you enjoy. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back with my art bag, my portable art studio. This is a bag, actually, that my daughter Hannah made for me. Uh, it's just made out of tapestry. It's, it's not large at all. In fact, I'll measure it for you. It is about 10 inches by about 12 inches. So about a little 10 by 12 bag. Um, if you open it, I'll take everything that's inside of out. But the thing I wanted you to see is that it just even has a little wrist strap that I made to go with it. And I carry it just like that. So, all right, inside, and, and truly, this is semi-live television. Um, I've got my little roll here of watercolor pencils and brushes and those... Uh, Dynaflow slash um, Aquaflow brushes I told you about in here. Uh, I've got a little cup that pops up that I can pour my water in if I need some water when I paint. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I love to carry these little just pieces of black paper because one of my favorite things when I'm taking a, when we're on a long car ride is just to doodle with white ink on these black pages. So that's in there. Um, some white watercolor cards, paper towels. Let's see. <laughs> this might be embarrassing. Um, here is one of my art journals. And again, just so you see, I actually really do what I'm telling you about some of our little outings obviously we were at a river here um, it's where we went to Ripley's Aquarium in the Smokies in Gatlinburg we rode the little chairlift on this particular day and see <laughs> that is not fine art that's just a gosh a 30 second sketch but I just wanted a way to record some of our dates um, I do like this one. This one's of the goldenrod that's all over Cades Cove in the Smoky Mountains. Um, obviously a fall picture. Um, so that's, that's just one of the many, many art journals I have. I think it's an addiction. This is the one that you just saw me working on. The old um, cash registry that uh, from the 60s that you just, you can paint over with a thin coat of gesso and just carry it with you as your um, art journal. And what else is in here? More of those black cards. Ah, <clears throat> this is important to talk about. See these little crayons? They're clear, they go on clear, but what they are, 
is uh, they create a wax resist. Wherever you don't want paint to be, if you're actually painting something, um, instead of just doodling along like I tend to do, you can use these crayons. They're just a couple of dollars at the art supply store. And apply them where you, uh, you don't want the paint. Then you can paint over them even, but the paint will stay away from from wherever you've placed this wax. So I do carry that. Um, gosh, what is this? A uh, ink pen, a white pencil, um, and again, these are my sketch pencils here. Creta Color brand. Love this set. It is very well loved, as you can see. All right. Um, then we open this thing up, and inside are my main tools of the trade. And again, you guys, I could really get away with nothing but these Aquaflow brushes, each one loaded with whatever my favorite colors happen to be. They come in all kinds of colors, primary, secondary, tertiary colors. You can also mix your own colors. That's a happy thought. Um, again, three parts water, one part color, mix, mix up colors. And put those in your uh, portable art studio. Uh, also in here I have a few sketch pencils. Um, let's see, I think this one, yeah, this is, you know those smash books? I love the pen that comes with the smash book. First of all, I love that it does have the glue stick here on one end. If I can pull it off, there it is. So I can glue little things to my art journals. But this ink tends to play really well with uh, watercolors and these uh, Dynaflow ink colors. So just a little tip there. Wonderful, wonderful pen to have in your portable art studio. And then in terms of um, watercolor pencils, I really love and highly recommend the Derwent brand, the Ink Tints uh, color pencils. They just work beautifully. I've never been unhappy with the way those perform. All right, that is it. Just this little roll. And again, I could get away with just the Dynaflow because those are really my, that's my go-to thing. That's the thing I use the most when we're out and I happen to be art journaling. Once in a while, I will pick up those watercolor pencils, but it's mostly ink and the Dynaflow. Um, the sketch pencils, I need to do more sketching, so I always carry those in case the spirit moves me to practice sketching. These resist crayons, um, a few little black and white cards, this old registry and this art journal with uh, it's, it does have beautiful watercolor paper in it. I'm not sure what brand that is but you can find something like that anywhere. Um, and it all fits in. Oh and here's the inside of the bag. Please ignore the gum wrap. Oh and look I also love to paint rocks whenever the preacher and I uh, go to the mountains. I always stop at a little stream or a little river and I pick out a rock and I, this one says uh, November 8th, that was our anniversary, 2014. It says 28 years, hearts all over it. I probably meant to put this by my bed and just forgot. So I will do that today. Um, but Here's what the inside of the art bag looks like. There's some pockets for a cell phone and, um, you know, just everything that goes in it. 10 inches by 12 inches. Wrist strap. Couldn't be more carefree. Couldn't be easier. I hope you have enjoyed this short how-to video and have a blessed, blessed day. Bye.